Right, I've got an excellent piece of survival equipment to show you today, and it's a 30 watt, 0 to 28 volt hand crank dynamo emergency generator with a DC converter. So when you buy it, it comes in two different boxes, one for the generator and one for the DC converter. This is not a cheap, um, low quality dynamo unit like you can get. This is a high quality unit and is excellent for all different purposes. And the uses could be for powering small communication stations, charging walkie talkies, powering laptops or tablets and charging lithium ion battery devices. So you could use it as a survival tool um, when you go camping or to festivals or whatever. You can actually um, power lighting if you wanted to and obviously charge your phone up um, if you run out of power. So like I said it's a high quality unit. The main casing is um, made of metal. I think it's aluminium. There's a rubber seal in between the join there which makes it rainproof. It's not waterproof it's just rainproof. This handle on the side here is made of thick brass which has been chrome plated. It has a nylon strap on the back here um, in which to actually uh, connect it to or uh, strap it to a post or a tree um, to make the cranking easier if you want to. But it fits nicely in the palm of the hand there like that. The handle extends like that and then folds out and it's very easy to actually um, generate power um, with slow turning. The LED light comes on there when you actually turn it and you can turn it either clockwise or anti-clockwise to get the power. And I have actually taken mine apart and looked inside to have a look at the components. It's actually fascinating to look at all the components in this one. And if you want to see what's inside this one, there's an excellent video on the Banggood listing. Uh, where the person takes it apart fully and shows all the um, electronic components, the rare earth magnets, the gears. It shows the shafts which are going through phosphor bronze um, bushes, which is excellent. And he also does an in-depth um, test showing the unit being used with the um, uh, voltage converter and how accurate it is on the different voltages. And I forgot to mention that the unit has full metal gears. So the DC converter unit has various different plugs and sockets on it. You have the jack plugs, the um, USB type plugs to plug into cameras and whatever. There's an ordinary USB um, socket there so you could actually plug your phone cable into that one to charge your phone. And then on the actual um, converter you have voltages 3, 5, 6, 9, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24 and 28. There's a letter H here um, with another setting but I found that it's just the same as the 28. So all those voltages are regulated. So if you want to charge lead acid batteries you'd use this cable set here which also comes with it. This one actually um, plugs directly into the uh, dynamo unit so you can actually use unregulated power to charge lead acid batteries directly on the terminals. And then you have another cable set here which um, plugs into the um, DC converter again on one of the jack plugs. And this is for um, devices that may not have um, these plug sockets. You could actually um, regulate power, um, connect these to the uh, battery terminals within a um, unit, maybe a walkie talkie or something like that, and um, get the power directly onto those um, battery terminals inside. So it looks like they made a really good job of actually covering most electrical devices that you could be carrying. It makes this a unit really versatile having all this. And they've included instructions for both the um, DC converter and the dynamo unit. And I've already tested it using my um, phone, charging the phone. It's uh, very slow to actually turn. You could actually turn it that fast and the phone would charge nicely. 
The DC uh, converter plugged into the top here, it only goes in one way and then there's a knurled collar which you screw home so it can't fall out. And then when you turn the handle the light lights up here to show it's uh, giving charge and the light on the actual uh, DC converter. So to give you a quick demonstration of it working, I've got my phone here and I've um, plugged it into the USB and I've put it on 5 volts on the DC converter and I just want to show you how slow that I can actually turn this um, crank to actually get the phone to charge. And there we go, it's as slow as that. So it's minimum effort and it wouldn't take much to get the phone charged up and working again. And you can obviously charge your phone with one of those solar panels but there's times when you can't use that when it's overcast or at night. So this would come in really handy for those situations. And these are another great thing which you can actually use for survival and taking camping or whatever. It's a 12 volt power pack and it does come with a mains charger but you could actually use this um, crank charger to charge this one up if you needed to. And I'm going to be using this one to make an infrared floodlight, a portable one. And another thing that I like about the hand crank generator is a great method of actually charging my newly made arc fire lighter up. Um, you can make these up very easily out of a um, power generator which you get off of Banggood. It's a high power generator. All this I've done is um, put it together with the battery holder, the battery, um, a power socket for the 5.5 um, jack to go in to charge it and a button on this side and all that I've done is actually um, held it together with two cable ties and a bit of black tape over the top. Very quick and easy to make up and a very effective fire lighting tool. And you can get a USB to 5.5 um, jack socket so you can actually charge this up with an ordinary USB uh, plug system or you can use um, this plug here on the um, crank generator you can set it to 5 volts the uh, battery is 3.7 volts but it doesn't seem to do any harm to the battery when you charge it at 5 volts it doesn't even get warm so I don't think they'll explode or anything like that it works perfectly in charging and I'll just show you how effective this fire lighter is in operation um, this is uh, one of those uh, King Alfred cakes um, or cramp balls um, very good fire lighting substance which you get growing on trees and I can actually offer the um, sparker or the arc up against that and press the button and immediately the fire or the ember is burning So to sum it up, I'm totally impressed with this hand crank generator. The quality is absolutely exceptional, really well made. A great piece of kit for survival, camping, or getting yourself out of trouble in the wilds. Keep your phone charged up, charge up your fire lighters, or um, use it for emergencies in power cuts. 
So like I said earlier, if you're interested in this type of product, then it's really worth going on the Banggood listing and having a look at that one. There's uh, much more information on there and photos and like I said, the video, which is very in-depth. You can see all the internal components in this one and see how well it's made. And you'll see an introduction to the company Free Power, the brand introduction. Um, the company was made in 2012 and it means the freedom of using power. They mainly make products that include hand and foot generators, multifunction portable power supplies and hand crank power banks. And their mission is to provide people with unlimited energy and security anytime and anywhere.